Off this whole back wall. We got it, Mama. We got okay. it. No pressure. Last time we got these two walls up, our very first walls on our home. We got them up, we got them secure. Now our goal is to finish off this whole back wall. The entire stretch is 56 feet, so we are going to try to get one full stretch done. We have 24 feet left on this 56 foot back wall. We need to do this uh, portion of it, the remainder in two sections because we are framing out the master bathroom and we have two windows that are going in there. So we wanna make sure we have a break in the wall that allows for us to get those two windows framed on the same wall. So the first section is gonna be an eight foot span that just has a uh, stud set up on 16 inch centers and we'll wrap up the framing for the back wall in our master bathroom. We'll stand those up and get everything put in place once we're done with the sheathing. So you got yourself a sexy new tape measure. Brand new tape measure. Look That's at right. that. Did you buy a nice brand this I time? It is a Stanley. Top of the line, extra long. It's because, you know, it's the kind of guy I am. Well, I lasted about five minutes out here. It's like 75 degrees in my black pants. So if you have sensitive eyes, you might want to turn away. I've got very bright colored legs on right now. <laughs> the light. I'm gonna put mine on, make up for it. You see the hair, the bald patches, it'd be beautiful. I threw your, uh, I threw your short shorts away. Well, we can always make more, mama. I got lots of pants that are on the fritz, believe me. Before we start nailing all this together, let's all collectively pray that we got all of our kinks and mistakes worked out on the last video, this last section of wall. I want to do that again, Mama. It's like twice the work. Because we are going to be tying our walls together using our sheeting and we are staggering our seams, we're going to be using this piece to stick out a little bit further and it's going to connect to that wall where you see the missing sheeting piece. Oh, you're doing a great job. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mess it up, Harry. Don't mess it up, it's your fault. It means you weren't sitting right. Something's wrong with your sitter. Thank you. Ah, look at that service. A little kiss on the cheek. That's my girl right there. Thank you. So Melissa and I are gonna to try to raise this section all on our own. It's a two by six foot wall, but it's only eight feet long. It's got three sheets on it. It's not too windy right now, fortunately for us. So let's give it a shot, mama.
Now we did mention it in our last video, but in case you missed it, the reason that we were keeping the sheeting off that top portion there is because we are going to be building a gable end that goes up over the middle section and we want to tie the sheeting in from our eight foot walls to our gable end. So that is why that will all be left off until we actually frame that part out. Well, Jeremy is in the back of the house getting all the tape all squared away. I wanna talk about my snack belt choice of the day. So one of our subscribers figured out that Jeremy was part Korean and sent over a box of Korean snacks. So I have a really fancy dinner plan for tonight. So I'm going, you know, just easy on the snacks today. I'm not, I'm not going easy on the snacks at all. These are my favorite. They kind of taste like a sweet version of like what you put around a fish stick but they're just like a rice chip. I have most of those too. And then for snack dessert, Pocky sticks. We love these things. Don't worry. I know that these snacks were technically for Jeremy, so I brought them out of pack. Okay, so the third section is up. It took us a while because we ran into a couple minor issues that we had to rectify, so. No, I went perfect. I'm trying to be very thorough in everything that we're doing here. And I'm trying to take my time as much as possible, even though I have Melissa cracking the whip. For us to get stuff done or for me to get stuff done. Oh, See, it's what happens. Still good. That's what happens. A little sawdust on there. Never heard you anybody. want me? I can trade you this one for one of yours. No. Anyway, what I was saying was I'm trying to be thorough. This is our house. It's important. And I'm trying to enjoy the process as much as possible. Even when times get a little stressful. Um, Are you having fun? I'm having fun now. I'm not reading these and <laughs> watching in the shade. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's stressful every now and again. So it's important, I think, to take a step back. Remember why it is we're doing this and know that looking back on these moments one day, we will smile and laugh about it, much like we did in the tiny home when we were working on that last year. So it wasn't an easy process then, this isn't an easy process now, but I know from prior experience that in the end it'll be far more rewarding and I need to be very appreciative of the fact that Melissa and I even have the opportunity to do something like this together, because not a lot of people do. So important. We're going to get back to work. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves. You can do it, Daddy. And we're going to eat more Pockies. I believe in you. Because they're delicious. Thanks, Mama. We are gearing up to frame our fourth and final wall on this long stretch. So we're going to get all the studs in place and we're not going to make any mistakes on this wall. Any mistakes. <laughs> Melissa, they're not mistakes. We've been over this. They're learning opportunities. Okay? Uh -huh. That's all it is. That does You're sound a romantic. You're person for it in the end. I'm talking about you, not me. I already know this stuff. I'm just trying to teach. Right, while Melissa gets all of our studs set up here for the bathroom, back wall in the bathroom, let's talk about our layout real quick. We are gonna have a window that's set up toward the very corner of the house. That's where our eventual toilet is gonna go. Toilet! The one Melissa's yearning for. Um, we eliminated the possibility of having a narrow transom window over our vanity. We just didn't have the room for it with our eight foot walls. So after we get that window framed in, it's 16 inches on center once again. You know, you got those fancy new knee pads, and now you think you're just the cool guy on campus. You knocked the back board off. We got the wall framed except for where the window is going to go. So we're going to work on getting a 10 inch header above that window in the toilet room. But we did want to address why we have no windows along this whole center portion. And that is because it is going to be a pantry and I want it dark in there. I don't want sunlight and things like that streaming in because I'm a big canner and I like to store just hundreds of jars of food in there every year. 
And so I do want that space dark and that is why there are no windows. We are going to be building a little loft just above the pantry section and then up in the gable end up here, which is going to be open to the living room and great room is going to be some big windows. So there is going to be natural light streaming in on this wall, just not down low. Yeah, it's not the real pretty side of the house. The other side will be, but this side, yeah. kind of boring. Eli, what's in your pockets? You just loaded your pocket with eggs? Yeah. I've warned you about pocket eggs. They can explode. Put them away. Stop walking around with eggs. Always told that that's where the sun don't shine, but yet there it is. <laughs> I was like, what? It's full glowing right out your backside. You're an incredible person, you know. <laughs> Whoa, there it was. Woo! Glitter. Us. Man glitter. Man glitter. Okay, we got the last little section of this back wall, this long great wall of Idaho um, framed up. It is not entirely complete. So we came up a little short today, but again, we ran into some very minor issues on this, <laughs> the section that came before this last one. Yeah, minor, no big deal. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, don't want you to worry about those little issues. <laughs> so um, yeah, we are gonna stop today because I have a really delicious dinner plan tonight. So we're gonna go enjoy that. And tomorrow we will come out early in the morning. We'll get it sheeted, we'll get it up. We're still on schedule. But we do have a fun day planned for the kids tomorrow. So yeah. we want to get this wall up so that we don't have to worry about it. We're going to take a break. Enjoy the day. As many of you know, our family loves HelloFresh. And when I know we're about to have a really busy week on the homestead and with our home build, I rely on them to spice up my Fab Five. Fab Five? Fine. Fab Four. What's the fourth one? I make the, 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 the round uh, eggs. I make eggs. Anyway, I was really excited to discover that HelloFresh now owns Green Chef, which offers us an even wider array of meals to choose from. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy, and affordable with plants that fit every lifestyle, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef makes cooking easy with dinner options that work around your lifestyle, not the other way around. Since we are so busy and we do live so far from town, I let Green Chef do the meal planning, the grocery shopping, and most of the prep work for me. There are nine recipes to choose from weekly within every meal plan, and you can switch up your meal plan whenever you're ready to try a new way to eat. Recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Go to greenchef.us slash 90 Good Simple Living and use code 90 Good Simple Living for $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Okay, we're going to finish off this wall today. It is morning. It is a beautiful day. It's supposed to be the nicest, warmest day of the year. So we want to get everything it is that we set out to do completed. So we can go out and have a little fun as a family, enjoy some time together. It's, it's long overdue once again. Yeah, the kids have been really patient this week while we've been battling through relearning to frame walls. So now that we're ready to get this last wall up, we will feel like we have accomplished a lot for the week. And we're going to go have a good family day. Sounds good. Let's All do right. it. Oh my
got the wall fully sheeted. Hopefully it lines up perfectly with that piece there, but just to be safe, we just screwed these into place this time instead of nailing them. That way, if we need to make a little eighth of an inch adjustments, we can once the wall is up. Jeremy is getting the trip block in place so that when the wall gets pulled forward by the tractor, hits the block and we can pull our last wall up. Kenji, the tractor has to come through here. Kenji. Kenji. With the bulk of our sheathing on, we still have this little opportunity to cut out the rough opening for our window because we have this little gap up top. So we're gonna go back as we always do for cuts like this to our trusty router. Here we go. Mama, a little ventilation for your, your throne. Some ventilation for your throne. We had to go. We had to go with a three-foot window uh, hey, here since hey, this is no, Jeremy's toilet room. Okay, very busy morning, but this back wall, this super long wall that's very boring on the back side of our house, is up. It is sheathed. At least the majority of it is. We still have a couple sections right back here that we need to do. The middle will not have anything again because that's the gable end that we are framing out after the fact. And then once that is done, we need to tape all of our seams. But we're hitting pause for the day. Yes, it is almost lunchtime and we promised the kids we were going to take them to Sandpoint for a fun day. It's about an hour drive for us, so we need to get going. All this can wait till tomorrow. That's right. Short hike. We'll enjoy the water, the sunshine. It's quality family time together. All right, let's go play. Let's go. Pile in. Pile in. Pile in. And the whole crew inside. Let's go. There is a light in the distance. Just a spark shining bright. There is a voice in the stillness with a wish taking flight. Far from all the madding crowds, I am swept away. Here beside me, I can hear you say, I know the way to wonder. We don't need wings to fly as long as we've got each other. Right, here we are, we made it. We are in beautiful Sandpoint, Idaho, right here in the water. Lake Ponderay is behind us. We're checking out a new trail. We've never been here before. Um, it's a beautiful day, like we said before, so let's head out and explore. It's a lot of rhyming. <laughs> it was like a riddle. Come alive, there is a grace, like a river, where the stars are alive.
still fly. Four miles later, we're sore. We had a good time, but we're really hungry, so we're gonna take the kids to go get some burgers. Are you ready for some? McDuff's! Jeremy makes us eat at McDuff's every time we're in San Fran. <laughs> McDuff's! And he does that the whole time. McDuff's! You're like a man baby eating ice cream. Better? No, it's not better. We are on our way back home, but we had an awesome family day. I'm so glad we took this time. I think it was just good rejuvenation for the soul. So tomorrow we will be back to work on those walls. But for tonight, we're just going to hang out and rest. We all slept incredibly well last night. It was so nice just to get away for the afternoon. But today is supposed to rain, even though it is beautiful right now. So we just want to get the last of this wall done. And then we will have this entire back wall done, which is just a really incredible feeling. This week we completed the entire back wall of our future home, and that truly feels monumental. It is so incredible to look out there and see a giant wall standing where once there was nothing but a hayfield. As we reach each new step, it is so easy to be consumed by all that we have left to do, not just with the build, but with life in general. And if we allow it, we can easily forget why it is that we left our old lives behind and who we left it all for. All right, Mama, there you go. Back wall is done for now. Back wall is done. And we never want to allow life to get so busy that we don't have a day to go get ice cream. 50 years from now, the money we make, the house we build, and the schedule that we follow, none of that will really matter but they will. <laughs> 